Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. And for those of you that don't know, the um, glitch is fixed. It has been um, officially changed. Um, it shows that he fixed it on the 5th under the change log. Floating fix on the 5th. Um, oh, 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 excuse me. Excuse me. Mm. Anyhow, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, don't forget to hit that like and comment and subscribe button if you want. Um, always your choice. No pressure to actually do so. Just me. Hanging out. Having fun. Alright, so watch. The first clue is that, like, when I zoom out, there's a, there's a filter on the camera. Because the camera went underneath the water. So the next one is the life itself. Yep. See, we took damage. So, <clears throat> it's gone. It happened. But that's okay. Let's get to a building. Because that's actually a good thing for me because, I mean, I wasn't building on my bridge because of that fact. But now that I've got the yellow wood, I'm kind of like, well, what's the point? Um, I already have what I need, which was some yellow wood. But, I mean, we can keep going. Why not? Let's do this. Um, hold on. I need... What do I need? Okay, okay, okay. I got an idea. I will go and take this thing over here, my long planker. Actually, no. I'm just gonna go buy another one. Why not? I've got tons. Let's go see. Let's go see. I got a lot of money. In between that uh, short interlude of uh, building the bridge, lots of people gave me money. You may have seen them. You may not. But anyhow. <clears throat> oh, by the way, a lot of people didn't um, see my post that I was out with friends the other night, so just so you know, the reason there was no video... Oh, excuse me. Why can I not move? This is not good. No. Nope. Alright, move. There we go. Oh, all of a sudden I stopped. What in the world? Hold on. Did it think I was pressing the shift button or something? It might have been sticky keys or something. I have no clue what was going on. That was, that was weird. Okay. <clears throat> Do you want to buy this for 86500 Yes, please. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. You're welcome, Tom. I always love to keep you in business, sir. You have a good day. <clears throat> <laughs> you do the same, Code. I'll see you on the flip side. On the flip side? Tom's talking all gangster now. He's got some street cred. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> okay. Let's unbox this. <laughs> this is my uh, sawmill unboxing video. Um, no. Rotate right there. Nope. That's horrible. Horrible place to put it. Try it again. Cut. There you go. Like that. That's good. That's good. It's good. Um, hmm. Do I have any more conveyors? I don't have any other conveyors. But I need to get this out of here. Uh, da -da, da -da 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 -da. Actually, here. Can we do this? Yeah, why not? And we'll just chop this one like that. Here, actually, let's uh, let's reprocess these to one by ones. Why not? Why not? I mean, that's we're doing stuff, right? Good, cool stuff. Oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. <clears throat> um, I really enjoyed myself the other night because I got to go out to uh, one of my friends' houses and hang out and just play Fortnite and. We had steaks and dinner and conversation, and it was it was really nice. Um, the kids actually went over and had a birthday party um, at one of their friends' houses, so they had a sleepover. But before they did that, they went skating, right? And you know, I'm I'm a bit older now, and I haven't been to the skating rink in quite some time. But back in my day, um, if you've seen my my special, my 5,000 subscriber special, where I talk about um, skating. Guys, uh, so it's a, it, me and the family, every Saturday are now going to go skating. <laughs> I got 
back on the quads, quad skates, I, uh, I paid the extra $3 and bought some speed skates. Not in line, but the actual quad speed skates. And, oh my gosh. It was, it was like throwing a duck in water. Just naturally, I was able to skate once again. And good. I'm a really good skater. And I mean, I've, I've done the aggressive inlines, I've done the ramps, I've done the jumps, I've done the busting my shins and my kneecaps and, and ruining pairs of pants on ramps and clearing 20 foot gaps, doing 13 stair jumps. I've done those. And it still was, it was so much fun just to get out there and go in a big circle. And I mean, the smell of the place, like, it's that like that is something that you don't forget. It smelled like Skateport. And uh, for those of you that don't know, Skateport was the uh, place to be back in middle school during the uh, the school functions where you would go and um, there was a skate party, you know, and the school held those. It was. It was a weird feeling, weird feeling, just nostalgic. But yeah, um, I realized that like by the time we were done, my calves, my thighs, my legs were just burning. And I'm like, <gasps> did I just work out and not know it? And the answer to that is yes. I probably burned so many calories out there because I was listening to the music, which by the way, they must have not updated since the 80s and 90s because the music playlist was everything that I listened to um, whenever I was doing skate parks. It was skate skate rinks. It's not a park. It's a skate rink. It's a skating rink. So, anyhow. <clears throat> long story short, I had a really fun time. And um, because of the ability to, like, um, get exercise from it, I think we're going to do it a lot more. A lot more often. So, just saying. <sighs> My daughter liked it a lot because when, like, whenever I went to go pick them up today, the first thing she was asking is like, "Can we go to the skate rink?" I'm like, "Yes, not really. It's it's Sunday. They're probably closed." So I called over there, and they're open. I'm like, "Okay, okay, we shouldn't, because it's it's not time. They're like, we'll we'll do it next Saturday. Next Saturday." So. Instead of spending 400 and something dollars on a month-long membership for my, the four members of my family to go to the gym that we probably wouldn't go to anyway, um, I think we're going to do skating. Because, I mean, we can pay $45 and get 10 uh, sessions. And if we always go on Saturdays, 10 and a half, uh, that would be two and a half months, which is summer. I mean... That's the, the time that the kids have out of school. Or is it three months? I don't remember. Anyhow. Summertime and the skating's easy. Sorry, I'm just, I'm going off about it because it was amazing. Amazing. Uh, by the way, I have four winners' addresses of the books. If your name was announced and you're in that list for the winners of the books, you need to contact me via um, Twitter or Discord. Um, I might not be able to see it inside the comment section of YouTube, but if you contact me one of those ways, either through Discord or through um, through um, what's it? Twitter. Then I will verify that you're the person that posted the link, the hashtag book inside the original video, and then we'll go from there. And I'll get you your book signed. Signed, sealed, delivered. I'm yours. <clears throat> Sorry. Old school song. Like my mom's old school song, not my song. <clears throat> um, if you want to talk about old school with me, Beach Boys was before my time. Beach Boys was my mom's band, not my band. But when I was five, six, seven years old, I listened to the Beach Boys because my mom listened to the Beach Boys. And we used to have this channel called Oldies 105.1. Well, it's not Oldies anymore. 
the stuff they're playing on there is like from my era. <laughs> I'm not an oldie, not yet. Just saying. We're gonna need these up there, aren't we? So we can build ramps and stuff. <clears throat> For those of you that don't know what I'm doing, I'm building a um, ramp or a, a bridge to the water cave. Well, God, how are you gonna do that? Because you can't get down once you get over there. <clears throat> That's the point, is I'm going to make it at the end where it intersects and creates stairs that will lead down. Man. That went up there real quick, didn't it? Code, why are you using bomb? Well, just because it happened to be. What is that? Oh, no. I moved the wrong thing. I moved the glass door. The glass door was in the way. Well, that's okay. Let me see that that door was open. Or one, one of these doors is open. I can't tell you which one. We'll have to reload it to find out. <clears throat> Actually, we won't, because uh, I should be able to get up here with the, the ladders now, right? Oh, I'm gonna move that one back over here. Just like that. There we go. Jump. Yay! Glorious times! Hold on, is it the top one? It's probably the top one, isn't it? And you're not gonna let me. Whoa, I'll just jump right through that. Okay, so we know that that's fake. Or false. <clears throat> So, I'll have to find the correct door. But that's okay. We'll get it. Can I shut that one? I cannot shut that one. So. Um, hmm. I should definitely put a platform or something there. But we're going to need more ladders and another platform. <clears throat> uh, oh, oh, here, 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 here. Just do this. Scroll down, ladder, ladder. And by the way, one, two. Huge thank you to everybody who responded to my Twitter saying, Code, it's okay, take a break. Um, we'll be here when you get back. Like, that was a huge relief. Because I was, I was worried that, uh, like, the, the one day off would ruin my channel. And I think that's a fear that a lot of YouTubers have, but it's okay. And we need to remember not to work so hard because we do, all of us. Everybody who creates YouTube content, it is a grind. Anybody that tells you that it's not a grind <clears throat> doesn't know what they're talking about. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> what happened there? It's a caterpillar. <clears throat> it's gonna be a caterpillar made out of uh, palm wood here in a second. Boop a doop boom boop boom boom. I should have probably used um, yellow wood, but it doesn't matter. <clears throat> I'm not one for uh, feng shui. Like, what's feng shui code? It's a style or a term that means um, flowing, energy flow. I think I'm not entirely sure what Okay Google. What is feng shui? Here is some information about feng shui. Oh cool. Okay Google. What is the definition of feng shui? According to Merriam Webster, a Chinese geomantic practice in which a structure or site is chosen or configured so as to harmonize with the spiritual forces that inhabit it also, orientation, placement, or arrangement according to the precepts of feng shui. So that's what it is. <clears throat> yeah, I don't do that. In virtual life or in real life. I mean, I just, I kind of throw things together. And if I like the way it looks, I like the way it looks. A lot of people are like, yeah, it doesn't really look feng shui. I'm like, oh, 
Oh, you're a Chinese prophet. Sorry. Sorry. I'm not, not going to get into it. <clears throat> Man, I thought I'd have something a little bit more interesting for this episode, but I mean, we are literally just building this this episode, aren't we? Which is okay. I mean, I'm still... It's more its more like a vlog now than it is a tutorial videos, stuff like that. And uh, a lot of you guys were asking, like, Code, when are you going to be building the thing again? Well, here it is. I'm building it. So... <clears throat> I didn't really see the point while uh, I had the glitch going on. A pointless effort. Hmm... Now that I think about it, I'm like, oh, it probably would have been a good idea to get it up to a point where we could use it, maybe. But I digress. <sighs> My nose is kind of clogged. A little bit. I think it might be allergies. Could be allergies. Could just be I have a clogged nose. Who knows? Um, oh, we're 16 minutes into the video. Okay. <clears throat> well, this is going to be a very tall ladder. Just saying. And, oh, 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 uh, cut the other end. Whenever you mess up a cut, just go to the opposite side. Okay, unless you really mess it up and it's just not the full amount. If you're less, then cut the opposite end and then, uh, so like, here, I'll show you what I mean. So say, oh, really, really, okay. So say I'm cutting on this end, and I'm like, oh, I want the perfect cut of the. Oh, I missed. Dang it. Now what? Well, just go to the opposite end, and say you have a second chance. It's like, okay, I want the perfect cut right there, right? And then you're like, okay, cool. So once you cut the second end, it gets rid of the first cut. It's because it has to recreate these things. Um, oh, 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 let's do that. Here, I will show you the secret of the cut. Why the cut works. Okay, so, inside studio. This would be a one by one by six, five, something like that, of units, right? Or it's, it's not an exact unit, so I mean, it could be any measurement of unit this way, right? So this right here, this is a part inside the, the Roblox world. How does the cut work? Okay, so when we use our axe, notice the, the, the little mouse thingy, the cursor, okay? It points to things. So wherever you're pointing at, the mouse knows that landed right there at that particular point and, and it created a new part that is 0.1 inches left, right, up, from the place that you were you're clicking on. So if you go to the opposite end, it does the same thing. All right, it just did it in the opposite direction. And go figure, I don't know why it goes like that, but it has this, like, Defaultio showed the calculation that it has. So that part was cloned into the world, or it was an instance, instance.new part that was created placed in that exact area and then welded to the original part because I mean it it comes with it right so you can pick that up and it carries around now when I cut this part all right this piece is going to disappear and it's going to create two pieces based upon where the center of this is so it's going to create one piece on this side and one piece on this side x and y are going to be exactly the same the Sorry, did, is it X and Y? It might be X and Z. Because <sighs> X and Y is supposed to be like this. Z would be depth, right? Anyhow, um, that's different than the world that I'm used to because usually it's X, Y, and then Z is up and down. <clears throat> but that's because you're looking down at the scene, not at the scene. So anyhow, what the, the point is, um, when this part gets chopped at the moment the cut goes all the way through the board, then there's two parts that are gonna res into the world, and the one part is going to be destroyed from the world. <clears throat> so, 
So this chop right here, when I cut this, this one part is, is gone. It's destroyed. Watch. And it happened so fast and so precise that you cannot tell. Right? Right. So um, what is a good way to... Here, let's take these, turn them sideways like that. Um, this is this is fun. This is my experiment for the day. This is my my moment of learning for you guys. Uh, that's that's uh, that might be too close. Okay, well, let's back this one up just a little bit. Boop, 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 boop. Let's set that right. That, no, that's right. No, perfect. So I'm gonna chop this right in the middle. You're gonna see the patterns change. See that? I hope you saw that. If not, I can't do it again. <laughs> Here, move that a little bit closer. Whoops, that didn't work. Drop down. All right. So take a before and after picture of the, the patterns if you want, but they change. These are two, two new parts. This is the part that was there. It got destroyed. Two new parts, the exact same length and width and combined height. <clears throat> Anyhow, sorry, that's my moment of nerd. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> and I, I will eventually get to a point where I'm going to be showing that kind of stuff. Um, but what I really like is, I asked Defaulty the other day, I said, do you mind that I'm, I'm showing this stuff? He goes, like, no, it's amazing. So, um, the Lumber Tycoon replication, duplication, whatever you want to call it, um, it's not duping in Lumber, it's me creating things that I observe in Lumber over in Studio. And so far, most of the things that I've observed here, I can tell you in Studio how, they, how they're done. So, uh, like the axe, although I messed up my script and my axe. Uh, anyhow, um, what, do I, what do I need? I don't know, what am I doing? What about, what about, okay, I would say, let's do this. We're gonna need another large floor, basically. Um, hold on, I, I, let's do it down here. Let's do three and one. Two and three. Cool. I can probably chop that one in half. Sweet. <laughs> Should I be worried about this one right here? Should I? Here. Let's, uh, Let's put a platform like that, or like, I don't know. Let's put a flat, like, like let's do that, just in case. <clears throat> the next one, okay, I'm, I'm nowhere near the top, so let's put the, the ladders where they were, over here on the side. Um, oh gosh. Will that work? Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. There we go. Two. Three. Four. Four. Oof. Oof. Six, seven. A lot of you are going to be asking me, how many ladders did you use? I, I don't know. I don't count them. A lot of people ask me, like, how big is your, your palm wood bridge? And the one time that I went and counted, it was 256, which ironically falls in line with, like, bitness. So, like, uh, two bit, four bit, six bit. Eight, two, four, six. No, I, was, I guess six doesn't work. Two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four. 
128, 256, 512, 1024. And then from there, 10, 1024 is um, is one gig. So then you can go to your next bit in this one gigabyte, two gigabytes, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256 again. <clears throat> and for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about um, binary, basically. Whenever you hear people talking about their memory or their RAM or their speed of the internet. <clears throat> and a lot of times people say megabyte, right? It's not megabyte, it's a megabit. <clears throat> because technically you're, you're only sending one bit, not a byte, which is eight bits. <sighs> and uh, th that's a good thing to learn, terminology. So a byte is binary. It's one or a zero. That, that is a byte of data. Um, when speaking of bits, no, that, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh gosh, a bit is a one or a zero. A byte is eight ones or zeros. As far as size, a nibble is half of a byte. When would I ever use a nibble? Code? Okay, so in hexadecimal. Um, there are two numbers used and hold on one second. Wife just asked if, um, I was recording. I am recording. Honey. Oh, hold on. What is that? Okay. Um, where was it? Nibble. In hexadecimal, you usually have two letters to represent a byte. Byte. Yes. So like you have zero, zero to FF and zero represents zero. FF equals 255, which technically is the 256th area, 256 or 255. No, it's 255. One zero zero would be 256 or sorry, zero one zero zero would be 256. Zero zero FF would be 255, but you could start counting at Zero, 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 zero. So, uh, anyhow, <clears throat> nerd, nerd. For any of you that kept up with that, hashtag nerd down in the, uh, the, the comments below, if you want. I mean, you might not want to be called a nerd, but I mean, that's what you are if you, if you understood that. So, yeah, I'm proud to be a nerd. I am a geek, I am a nerd. And there is a difference. <clears throat> Nerds most of the time deal with like Star Trek, Star Wars, stuff like that, right? And retro things, video games. That would be a nerd. A geek deals with technology more than the retro stuff. I think. Yeah, it could be backwards, could be wrong, but whatever it is, that's what I am and I love it. <clears throat> and you should love it too. You should be proud of it. If you are very smart, very intelligent, love books, love retro, love things, I mean, nobody should be judging you for that. Okay, that's, that's, yeah, that's some next level right there. Okay, so let's go up to the next level. Move it. I like to move it. Oh, we're at 29. Oh my goodness. Honey, I'm just about done recording. I can come in. <clears throat> Give me a second. <clears throat> Steve it. Call this. Tell her I'll be in in just a second, okay? Cool. I don't. I bet he doesn't do it. I bet he doesn't call her. <clears throat> call me. <clears throat> call me. If I place this here, is it going to be in the way of the doors? Yes, it will. Hmm. Poop. Poopy. That's very poopy, poopy. Okay, good. 
Can I can I build it right here? Is this possible? I have no clue. Hey, that worked. Right where my feet are. Okay, cool. Um, anyhow, yeah, we're uh, making our way downtown, moving fast, and I'm homebound. <clears throat> Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. If you are a winner, I need to know where you're at because I've only got four right now, and then there's nine that are um, th that I know of that need to get the book. There's a tenth one who has declined it, so I will have to do a another giveaway. You still have a chance if you put your hashtag book in there. So... I'll have to turn off the comments or stop the comments or look and see where the comments were. If somebody gets picked and they're after the date of the first picking, then they don't count and I'll pick again. So, anyhow, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all the cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the video. So love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. <sighs> Outro.